What it do baby, it's your girl Robin. Today we are gonna be making aesthetic collages and I'm gonna be teaching you how to make your phone look super aesthetic. So we're gonna start by heading out to Canva and looking for a desktop template. Canva has lots of options, so you can go with something pre-made, but I like to go super blank, and then I head over to Pinterest, and I start looking at my inspo. So one of the first things I do is I look at different desktop collages, I look at different aesthetics, and then I download a whole bunch of pictures that I think are gonna match that aesthetic, or those color schemes that I'm going for, and you can see here, I'm just uploading all of those images into Canva, into the upload section right here. Super easy, so now from there, you're able to just add in all the pictures you want. I crop some of them, and then some of them I just leave the same. You can add in all sorts of elements. Canva has a lot of different options for adding in things like washi tape to make it look like you've taped your pictures on and things of that nature. I like the really clean cut look, so I don't use anything like that. I just insert my images, crop, and play around from there. As you see right here, I crop a lot of my images. So I look at images and see how could I utilize this even if it's just a small portion. The best part about using something like Canva is that nothing is permanent so you can move things around. I move things around a lot. I start out somewhere and end up wanting to move pictures all around my canvas. So just remember it's super easy to move things, utilize and change things in something like this. You can always try something out and then undo it if you don't like it. Um, I love that Canva gives you lots of different options so I definitely suggest checking out Canva or something like that or PicMonkey, that's another good website I've used in the past as well. So here's just some of my process as I go through create the rest of my background. Right, so depending on how or where you are wanting to use your picture, you can download it either as a PNG or a JPEG. A JPEG is the easiest format to be able to go on your phone and things, but a PNG saves in a better quality. So here I'm just downloading it, adding it to my pictures, and then uploading it as my wallpaper, as you guys can see, and it is so, so cute. I absolutely love how this collage turned out. I think it is so beautiful, and I just love the aesthetic keep the aesthetic going, I wanted to add in some personal folder pictures. So I went back to Canva and I went over to the logo section and picked blank logo. And now I am just going through and finding a symbol that I wanna add. I really liked these rainbows that Canva already had on here. I liked the top section. I thought these neutrals already fit my aesthetic really, really well. So I just went through and picked some that I thought would look super cohesive and already match my aesthetic. And I saved those. And when I saved them, I saved those as a PNG with a transparent background, as you can see right here. That way when I make it my folder, you won't be able to see the white in the back. In order to actually change your icons on your folders, you just right click, hit get info, hit your little blue symbol up there so it has the little highlight around it and then copy and paste your image. So here you see me copying the image, again, going to that folder, right clicking, hitting get info, clicking that blue folder and pasting that right there. Those look so cute, I love the aesthetic and then I ended up moving my icons around to make it fit on my page better. But I just love the way this turned out. I think it is so cute, super simplistic and not a lot of people know about it but it's a really easy way to customize your Mac. Another thing I love to utilize is fonts. Here is the app right here that I use. So you just go into your keyboard and you can pick different fonts. I love this typewriter font. What I did here was wrote out what I want in this font and then I copied and pasted it. And then you can actually paste it from your iPhone to your MacBook. And then as you see here, all my icons have changed to these super cute, aesthetically pleasing fonts that I wouldn't usually get from my MacBook. All right, next I am going to teach you how to make your iPhone look super aesthetic with the new update and all the different widgets. So here is my home screen currently. So what I do again is go straight to Pinterest, look at aesthetic wallpapers. I just like to get an idea of 
what looks cute and what aesthetics go together and what colors people have utilized. I really like some of the examples that you can find on Pinterest too. It's super beneficial. There are lots of different things you can do with widgets and I feel like not a lot of people know it. So I'm going to show you some of the shortcuts I like to use. So here I am adding in a call button for my best friend. Not a lot of people know you can do this. So just super easy. Add in a shortcut. Then when you go to add to home screen, when you go to choose a photo, you want to pick something super aesthetic that goes along with your color scheme. Here I'm just showing you how to look up for aesthetic icons. There's lots of different ways to do this. The more specific you can be, the better. I actually like black and white themed icons, so you see me looking for that here. All you really need to do with these icons is just save them to your camera roll, whichever one you like. And then in your shortcuts, you will just add them from your camera roll. So I'm just displaying all of that right here. I've saved it to my camera roll, adding it in. I'm doing the same thing with that font. I'm going back to typewriter and I'm going to add in a super cute typewriter font to my app so that when it is on my home screen, it looks super aesthetic. Right, so for widgets, we do the same thing. We go to Pinterest, look up aesthetic different icons or pictures that you would like to have. I have some saved in a board, so here I am just downloading it again to my photos. Go to Widget Smith, add in a widget, whichever size you would like. There are lots of different things you can add in here or utilize. I just like the photo option, so I add in a photo, go to my photos and add it in. You can adjust it to however you would like. And then to add it in, you just hold your home screen, that little plus button up in the left corner shows up and you can add in all the widgets you would like. There are lots of different widgets like your Snapchat icon and things of that nature that people don't know about. So just make sure you guys check out all the different widgets and things that are down there because there are just so many things that people don't know about. All right, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoy and like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.